Hey everybody, this is Steam Shark, otherwise known as Joshua. Um, I'm going to be making my first video here, and I'm going to start with Pokemon Emerald version. Um, this is one of the first games that I played. Um, first one I played was Pokemon Yellow. After that was Gold and Sapphire, and then Emerald. Um, you know, four generations later, Pokemon Emerald is still my favorite game. I will be taking requests later on in time, but for right now I'm going to start with a game that I'm familiar with, just so I can try to get the basics of this down. Um, so here we go. Professor Birch is going to send out some lame Pokemon. You know, again, I, you think, it with at least in his bag, he's got like Torchic, Mudkip, and uh, Trico. You think he sent out something a little more impressive than a low tab? I mean, unless that thing is like level 97, I am not impressed. <laughs> Now, if it is level 97, that means he just skipped Lombre and Ludicolo, went straight for the low tad, gave no shits, and is, has a level 97 low tad. That is impressive. That's, again, if, which, being Professor Birch, I highly doubt. The only professor I give any real battle credit to is Oak, only because the original game was programmed to have a battle with him. Why they took that out, I still don't know. Marowak was also supposed to evolve into Kangaskhan. I don't know if you knew that or not, but the missing no glitch is actually half of that code. Yeah, I've been playing Pokemon for way too long. I know way too much. I am a nerd. I love when Mom just throws me in the back of the moving truck with the rest of the cargo while she gets to drive up front with the hunky fucking moving guy. Let's put this in fast forward. I don't like slow. How you doing, Vigoroth? Those are human noises. I don't know why I would expect a Pokemon to make human noises, I guess. That doesn't make any sense. Close enough. I said close enough! How do you like your new room? They finished moving everything downstairs, too. You should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Hint, hint, hint! Take this. Quick, come quickly. Look, it's Petalware Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. Oh, it's over. Well, thanks a lot, Mom, for calling me all the way over here for nothing. I had to walk a whole ten steps, and I, you've wasted my time. Exclamation mark. I love how the mom said she would be upstairs. I come up here and there is no daughter. Only Pokeball. There is no May, only Zool. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I'm going to help Professor... Oh my god, he's being... Uh, this is even... Oh my god, okay. Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby, he's being chased around by a Poochiena. That's at least a little understandable. But you're letting a freaking Zigzagoon chase you? You have three Pokemon. Why would you put them in your bag and just put the bag to the side? Especially in Wild Grass. You are a professor. You should know better. I mean, even Ash knows better. He always has his Pokemon on him. Doesn't matter what he's doing. Unless, of course, Pikachu's in the ER, then I guess that... But that doesn't happen really often all that more anymore, I don't think. I mean, I haven't watched past the Orange Islands, to be completely honest, so I really don't know, but... but I remember it's been quite a while since Pikachu's had an emergency situation like that. I'm gonna name him Bold. It's because I have a glass pipe named Mudkip. I think it's funny. Oh, wrong game. I honestly don't remember what the little doodad singy songy thingy for the first route in this game is. I don't really feel like turning it up to find out either. How you doing? I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Yes, and you just so happen to have the one that has the type advantage. Weird how that works. Lear, I'm gonna stare at you menacingly. Angry Gecko. 
that's what you get for staring at me all angry and stuff. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. Yeah, probably because I'm one of the three people that lives in that town. Oh, no, I'm sorry, two. There's two houses and your dad's lab. It's like, I don't even know where these people live. I think they're just wandering around outside. They're homeless or something. May has an extensive experience as a trainer. I don't believe you. Her trico was level five. It's the exact same level as the mudkip you just handed to me. Wait, shark. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. Here's some boots. Thanks, Mom. I love your line of logic. Go get them, honey. Wee. Love how running in double speed is basically as fast as a bike at normal speed. That makes me happy. I basically have a bike without having to wait to get the bike. I am a-okay with that. Alright, so I got my first Pokemon, I got the running shoes, and I beat the ever-living crap out of Maze Trico. I think that'll do for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed the first video. There are plenty more to come. Um, I plan on doing um, one other game with this one. Um, it was requested that I play Golden Sun alongside this one, so that is what I'm going to do. Hopefully the next video will be my first video of that playthrough, and I will let you know as soon as I do. That was English. I will let you know as soon as I know what the plan on that one is. Thank you very much for watching.